stop the press. The news is just in. Hardik Pandya is actually pitching the ball up. Today's episode of Not Out and About is coming to you from one of my favorite places in this city, one of Pune's famous takeries. Krishna is out here in the hills around Pune and we're hoping to get at the top at a good vantage point before sunrise which means it's so dark that I need to use my flashlight just to walk otherwise I'm going to keep stepping in cow dung or falling over rocks as you can see it's a lot brighter now but unfortunately we didn't get those sunrise shots uh, that we were looking for because it's so cloudy So every bowler has their own natural length, depending on their strengths. Look at Morne, Morkel and Dale Stain for example. Stain likes to pitch the ball up, Morkel has a back of the length, into your ribs kind of a preferred length. Hardik Pandya, judging by what we had seen of him in international cricket so far, liked the spot about halfway down the pitch, which is where he banged the ball in most of the time. So this was a refreshing change to see him really pitching it up, allowing the ball to move in Dharamshala. It meant that he went for a few boundaries initially, but the results after that were there to see. It just goes to show how a little time away from international cricket uh, can help you go back to your basics, especially if you're under the watchful eyes of a man like Rahul Dravid. I know all of you want to hear about Virat Kohli but yesterday the game was won by the bowlers an awesome seam bowling display in friendly conditions backed up by Kedar Zadav where did that come from? So Kedar Zadav has a grand total of one first class wicket and yesterday he got two and two balls I guess that's what happens when you are under a captain who has the Midas touch Welcome back MS Dhoni so the Kiwis had some reason to cheer as well and both those reasons came from the number 10. Tom Latham, the opening bat, became only the 10th man in ODI history to carry his bat through an innings. That's a lot of ODIs and just 10 men have done it. Who are the other 9? And then of course it was Tim Saudi who came in at number 10 and notched up a career high score in his 100th ODI. They gave the Kiwis a little respectability, but it never was going to challenge the Indian batting lineup on what was a good pitch. And finally, something I'm really, really excited about is seeing Ajinkya Rahane at the top of the order. You guys might have guessed that I'm a big fan of Rahane. No, actually, I haven't talked about him before. But I really, really uh, like the way he plays, his solidity, his dependability. And I think he should be given a longer run at the top of the order where he's had so much success in the IPL in both limited over formats. Click like if you agree. Subscribe if you don't.
I just realized I've lost my phone. Probably when I took that shot lying down. I was just thinking that Chris should be uh, Chris, you know, should come in handy to find my phone, even though I haven't actually taught him any kind of scent training. And he just came and he loitered around this area. And look what's here. Beautiful baby dog, you baby dog. Baby dog is a good boy. He's a good, good, good boy. He's a good boy. I think that's enough adventure for one day. Not catching the sunrise, almost losing my phone, but having a good time. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then. <laughs>